Hey there everyone, I'm Lisa Baylash, also known as Kettlebell Bombshell. I'm a Fitfluential ambassador, and if you're watching this video, most likely you are reading my blog post. So today what I talked about on the blog was the differences of the kettlebell styles. There's the hard style, there's the competition style, and which one is best for you, which one is right, which one you feel more comfortable using. So we're going to go over all that, and I'm going to show you a demonstration of each style, and then that way you can decide for yourself which one you think would be most beneficial for you. I do a mixture of everything, but with my swings, I do prefer the competition style of swinging. So I'm going to show you a little bit of my knowledge of both. So I'm going to grab my kettlebell over here, and I'm going to get started. Okay, this one is about 30 pounds. So um, what you want to remember is if you're doing the hard style swings already, if you're already using kettlebells, you may have already seen this technique or be using it yourself. Um, so the hard style technique is basically... You squat and then you stand, and as you stand, you thrust your hips forward like so. So it requires a lot of quads, glutes, hamstrings, and some upper body as well. Even I feel this in my mid back. So that's your heart style. You want to exhale as you exert on the way up with the back. Now, the competition style is more relaxed. I'm actually going to make the bell move more of like a pendulum. So that's basically what swinging is anyways. And I prefer this method because it allows me to do more work, rest less, and then feel more in the glute and hamstring area. So you're gonna follow it down. You're gonna roll through your hips. My elbows slightly bend naturally, I'm not making them do this. I keep the belt close to my groin. And then as I come up, rolling through the hips, I keep the elbows loose. Shoulders in the socket. So this way I feel my abdominals a lot. My shoulders are protected because of the socket. And lots of hamstrings. Like so. Okay. The breathing on that is exhale down, inhale up. So the key to the kettlebell style of competition style is that you're actually going to feel you're relaxing more while you're doing it. It's not constant tension. Hard style requires constant tension. So I like the competition style. You can tell I'm really, <laughs> I've been battling a cold, so that's kind of making it worse. But anyways, the competition style, I feel more relaxation in the body. The bell's closer to my body, which can prevent injuries down the road. I feel when I do the hard style swings, I'm straining too much in this area. The shoulders are internally rotated, which is another thing I'm not real crazy about. I like my arms to be loose. And if you notice, when your arms are loose and you're just chilling, this is what they do because the shoulders are down and protected. So that also, as soon as you push those shoulders down, you're recruiting this part of your body to stabilize. So that's another good thing. It's another added benefit is I like to feel my abdominals engaging at all times. Okay, so there you have it. A little demonstration from me. And if you have any comments, I would love to hear them or questions, go ahead and comment in the video below or on the blog post, on the fitfluential.com blog post. And I'll be making guest posts every month. And if you'd like to learn more about me or kettlebells in general and my style of training, you can always go to kettlebellbombshell.com, follow me on Twitter at kbellbombshell, and Instagram, kettlebellbombshell. It's pretty much that across the board. Um, so go ahead and subscribe to the Fitfluential channel because it's awesome and there's tons of great ambassadors that are going to be putting lots of great content on there for you guys to learn about almost everything and anything you can think of. So go ahead and subscribe to their YouTube channel and come back each month and check for my updates and blog posts about everything and anything about the kettlebell. Thanks for watching.